tired, everybody. I'm so anxious tonight. We started three minutes early. That's because I'm a company man. I don't go just by the clock. When we're ready to entertain. Right, Mary? We are very ready to entertain. It's like for another lounge again. It's a very loungy night at the Hyatt tonight. People have been lounging around all afternoon. They are. They, they can't wait. They, they know. It's like they follow the band. I'm going to... Oh, you know what I got to do? Is... um. This is the boring part. <clears throat> I should have said that Ryan had been spotted at the bar. Where I have to... Here comes Ryan. Yeah, I was just saying the car. This is the part of the show where I have to share it to my page or nobody will know I'm here. And it's very difficult to do this for some reason. The president is here. Okay, here we go. Uh, share. Okay. I think I got this figured out. Okay, I think this is going to be on my wall now. Remember they used to call it a wall back in the 1900s? Yeah. Here we are. Let's see if I can edit. Tell people what it is. There we go. I'm now going to type using a typewriter. You're watching me type, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm going to check into the location. Here we go. That was easy. This is easier tonight for some reason. I tagged Ryan. These are the hosts, the co-hosts I'm tagging. Oops, sorry about that. I just bumped the joke microphone. Mary Kunis. Goldman. And who else? Well, you all know who we are. Okay. Great. He fixed, Ryan fixed the table. Let's see how he did this. He fixed the table, ladies and gentlemen. This is how he got to be president of WBIG TV. There was a broken table here. <laughs> yeah, Ryan fixed it. He turned it upside down, and there's a thing you can screw There's in. a bolt under there. There's a bolt? Yes. Well, on the bottom. He's pretty handy. Now we have a table. Yes. I just pulled this table over. Which bolt was it, in case it ever happens? Oh, okay. Well, if you look underneath here, there is oh. a... Oh, right, oh. way underneath. Yeah. Oh, that was loose? Yep. I don't know how that happened. How'd you figure that out? Uh, ingenuity, I guess. This is why Ryan Lysars is the president of WBIG-TV. Got to see how everything works, you know? Yeah, that's I the see. thing. It's like doing live television. It's just like real-time series of things breaking and going wrong. Yes. Speaking of which, how's your technical setup right now? It's good. Oh, good. Knock on wood. So you already got your drink. What's your drink tonight? It's a Sam Adams Summer Ale. Seasonally appropriate. Well, it's beautiful. It's a nice color. It makes me thirsty looking at that thing. Yeah. So we're set up here. We're here. We're, uh, we got started a couple minutes early. Um, you started drinking a couple minutes early, too. We're all in the same 
I haven't even taken a drink out of this yet. We got a pretty good, a pretty good time delay. Oh, I'm still, good. I'm still sitting at the piano. <laughs> Here comes Brenda and and Paul. Is his name? Paul? Yeah. Brenda and, Hi, Howard. It's Brenda and Paul, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't Hi, expect Ryan. to be on television. How are this you? This is well, my friend Paul from Saratoga. Hi, I'm Paul. Well, we've been you. expecting you. Oh, really? Yeah, this is reality, re reality this is, piano bar. This is like over the top. It. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. It's like over the top. Yeah, it, yeah, we're very happy with the... Uh, we're the only ones here. Brenda and I have known her well, for a long time. Probably 15 years. 15 years. Is that a long time? Well... Yeah, I guess. Hi, Mary. <laughs> My t I've had this tie over 15 years. I guess it's been, I guess, hello. I've seen all of your pictures. You're an artist. <laughs> and you're, you know, you're talented as hell. I've seen all your stuff. Thank you. I've been friendly because of the art. Yeah. Well, Happy to meet you. I've yeah. had a lot of fun here. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've seen all of your, uh, I've seen all of your work. You're so kind. Oh, I'm real honored. Thank you. Yes, so and what, you, what, do what, what do you have in the house of hers? You oh, made right. something special. I have, I have calendars. I have. You made something special for her notes. when we lived. When we lived in Clifton Park, you know. I have wall hangings. She had something special that you did for her. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I don't have any of your work yet. I don't have any of your work yet. Oh, I'll have to do something. It's okay. Yeah. We have it for sale right here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh He's a huckster. We take crypto. He's a huckster, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a great idea. Good, huh? It's so nice yeah. to meet you, Paul. Yeah, same here. This has been a whirlwind day. Oh, I imagine. I used to do a lot of work. I used to do a lot of work in Buffalo for the state of New York. Oh, is that right? So we decided to do things. I was working here, and I was staying at. I was working in the Ellicott Square building. Oh, beautiful building. When they were filming the National. Good timing. Yes, and I got to see Robert Redford, Kim Basinger, Duval. Richard Fodge with the whole cast and then a friend a guy that I know who worked for Erie County Social Service was an extra and he used to go to the stadium every day and he was one of the guys that sat in the stand and waited with a white shirt for the night. He was one of the guys that was not cardboard. He, no, he got $50 a day to go out there and sit in the stands. There was a lot of money back then. Wow. Oh, what are we talking? Eighty-four? Or I mean, I was I was young then. I don't want to tell you how old I am now. Eighty-four? Was it that long ago that movie? Um, Gosh, think, I guess it was. I'm thinking eighty-four. The Natural. Then oh oh what a what a it's, it's my favorite sports movie. It's my favorite. Yeah. And, uh, and we you know we used to get to see them because I was working in Ellicott Square there. You know, we were, I, I worked for the state, and we used to do audits of Erie County Social Service. And, and that there was a certain time of the day when nobody could come around because they were filming. You know, and you know, and they'd go up on the elevator, and you'd see Kim Basinger and Robert Redford walking mm -hmm. nice down in the down in the lobby. That was great. It was good. Did you, did you ever run into uh, the real star Carl Palladino, who owned the building? Oh, wow, no. I don't think I oh. did. I don't think I ran into him. I don't think I ran into him, but I did see all the famous ones. And I think he owned it then. And like, and like I said, my, you know, my buddy Danny Kulinski, he was an extra at the um, at the stadium. He was at the stands and get his $50 per diem. I'm watching last week's show. No wonder I can't figure out what's going on. What? What, what show? This this one. Oh, you, last, you? What do you put this on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, now I... Okay, I guess I I guess I didn't share this properly, so I'll go back and do it again. It's, they, it's not an easy thing to figure out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. No wonder I can't see your comment. I'm watching last week's show.
This is really time delayed. Okay. Um, I'm trying to share. I'm trying to share this so you guys can see it. Am I me? I'm me. It should have worked. Share. Share to your story. Share now public. So it's not. Uh, I guess I'll have to. Do. Just post the link. Copy and pasting the link to my Facebook profile. <clears throat> Just now, it's a long, this is May 13th. May 13th, we don't want May 13th. Here we go. Now we're talking. Okay, we're just getting this shared to my... See now? Oh, here it goes. Share. Copy. Now it went away. Share. Copy link. Share, share public. Okay, I think I got it, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important when people tell me, I looked for your show and I couldn't find it. And I don't blame them because, because it wouldn't be there. There it is, okay. No explanation for what it is, but uh, I could type one. I wonder how many people are going to be watching last week's show, thinking it's this week's, like, like I was doing. Featuring a share? Yes. She's playing over the sound system. Oh, he forgot to turn off the sound system. See, now I'm so focused I don't even notice it's on. How could I not notice share? I think they just turned it off. We're here talking with Ryan Weissars. Send him a text message. Turn off share. It's all right. I've just been monkeying around anyway. Okay. Um, now let's see. Now, see, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't see any comments because I was watching the wrong week. I, I, had, I instead of doing it as an event this week, Ryan Lysars. I just did it as 
like a preset stream, figuring maybe it would be easier. And I mean, we've been doing this every week for years. That's how difficult it is. Maybe they want you to hire like a multimedia company. I don't think it would be any easier for them. Now we're now we're good. You think it's better to do it this way? I'm not sure. It actually did not accomplish anything, other than people could not see the event in advance to kind of you know set a reminder. Hi Dale, how are you, sir? Great to see you. Hope you had a great week. You're gonna do some. Uh, Car shows this this weekend possibly I, I would I would guess and we've got Selena representing her uh, her, her her city and uh, everything that has to do with culture. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. She's one of our inner circle lounge cadets. We got in on the ground floor with Selena. That was before she had the big job with all the with all the pull. Well, that's great. So, how's uh, how's our picture and our signal, Selena? Everything good? It's one of Ryan's jumping around a little bit. The camera tends to do that. What does it do? It just got this. Um, it's got this cool camera because it's super wide angle, like a like an action cam. So I like that, but. It's really bad at like focusing and adjusting light, you know. But, you know. Here, I'll brighten you up. So that, that's why I look distorted. Well, it could, it could, you know. Or, or I just naturally look distorted. I think a kind of a combination. <laughs> My natural distortion combined with uh, super wide angle. It's Micah. Now that I've got my brain screwed up. Now that we're transmitting, and uh, every week's an experiment on technology. So Brenda met somebody from the NBA downstairs, or called in. There's some some player from the NBA. I think he was the guy up here I was, I was talking to. I, said, I was thinking to myself, this guy looks like somebody important. I was thinking that too. And he was Brent telling said, me. Yeah, it was an older guy. He's on, yeah, he's on the way back to Orlando. Oh. Um, and he looked like he had this kind of poise, like he yeah. was somebody. I That's noticed I he had like a lot of handlers around him I too. I wonder if it was. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably some big name basketball player. I felt bad because I didn't invite him to Lounge Academy, so I spoke to him. Well, he wanted to stick around. He, he said. Oh. Uh, he, he had to get to the airport. Oh, so his handlers. Yeah, that must have been who, who yeah. uh, Paul recognized the meeting. Who was an asshole who he was, so we can brag that he was up here. Yeah. I like Brian. Well, we'll ask Paul. Like George. Oh, yeah, what's for it? Paul can, Paul can <laughs> tell us. Love the new I was, guy. I was just bragging to Paul about sitting on the piano bench next to Little Richard at SPAC. The new guy, Paul, will tell us who he, who he is. He doesn't remember. Oh, he doesn't, Paul doesn't remember. remember. What good is that? But he recognized him as somebody else. Okay, maybe. Too bad I didn't interview him. <laughs> Christopher, <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Clear. Smooth as silk. Thank you, Selena. That's great.
of background music in one view? A little, yeah. A little. Yeah, it's faint, but it's probably faint enough where I don't know. Why would it be know. faint though? I don't Maybe know. Maybe it's somebody's uh, boom box. Alright. I don't even hear it. They have to be required to have a drink. I agree. Unless they're an alcoholic or something. Yeah, then they're not. Then they're required. Then they're really that, required. Then, that, <laughs> then they're really required. <laughs> the, um, in, in that case, we'll let them have a marijuana edible. <laughs> Sound test with my headphones. Um, I, I kind of like the. Uh, I like all three names. We, well, the, options the, the we Vino came Veritas up with. Veritas would be the Latin what, motto. What there's about a, the it's, Latin slogan? Where it's we it's the drink the talking. Talk. Oh, there was that too. It's the, that was in a cocktail <laughs> book that I bought at Saber. It's one of the cocktails. It's, it's the drink talking. <laughs> <laughs> I think that could be a special segment. Yeah. <laughs> with a special question. Do you, it's the drink where you ask the most delicate questions. <laughs> I think the, um, I kind of like the idea of it being a cocktail and a conversation, oh, and then the next line test, but, uh, in Vino Veritas. Oh, that's like a good idea to make that the subtitle. Is that what they call it? Yes, subtitle? no, that would work. Yeah, that's, yeah, underneath it. would be a cocktail and a conversation. That's right, that would work. Let's do that, yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to it on headphones. This is fun. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, a lot of house background noise today. But there's a lot of people uh, downstairs. There sure are. Here comes Dave Wandy. Oh, good. He's so we back. can continue this conversation. Hector well, Dave Wandy, ladies and gentlemen. Stay. I have a show business thing to do. I understand. You know, like a walk on. Yeah. Well, that's that's the beautiful business? thing about having people stopping down here. They're on their way to doing their own shows, like Dave Bundy. All right. What are you rehearsing for? Are you at liberty to tell us? <laughs> uh, the show that we were doing when the shutdown happened. Can you speak up a little after day one? Can you, can you project a little? We're doing the show that we... We're going to re remount the show that we were doing when the shutdown happened two and a half years ago. I was going to say three years. Yeah, it's been a long time. That's really... Did the show ever was go that, on? Uh, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Under the circumstances. In fact, you, you, you all had dinner with me about two hours right after my last performance. So I remember that. But, uh, I remember we were, we were all yeah, being yeah. introduced to sanitizers. Yeah, that's germ right. paranoia. Right then, we had this, that was 
Yeah, that was right that before we all. Like, yeah, that was right at the beginning, and we were all we talking all about it. We all went the lockdown. About the sanitizer. I don't think masks. Yeah, we're like just that. skipping. We're just going back three years. You know, it's, you know, it's taken up where we left off. Exactly. Just taking it. There was some joke. Didn't we present you this? Howard Howard Brass Brass you gave me a sanitizer Howard for yes. my birthday. Which ended up being a short supply, and now they can't give it away. What toilet paper? I heard that New York, New York is stuck it's with all the sanitizer that right? they had the yes. first thing. Oh, the sanitizer? No, Howard, it was something I'm, I'm sure she remembers. So what can they do with it? She probably will. I don't, I don't think, think so. Bottling. <laughs> everyone, but the store. You'll always have a use, to, use for that little portable hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. I'm still very happy that it's in stores now for when you pick up one of those. We still have a lot of, of cases of hand sanitizer from when we were hoarding it. I, I still have. We, we need to make some baby formula. Yeah, yeah, how come the prisoners... Yeah, how can we avoid baby formula? formula? Yeah, we got to make some of the... There's a shortage of that right now. We need to get some. To make it out of hand sanitizer. Well, I was going to say, but that but that, but that, that wouldn't have been funny. Though. That's a good that, idea. That, 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 that wouldn't have been funny. Drunk infants. There's, there's some white there's, food color in here. There's no way yeah. we could convert that into baby formula. No. If you think about anything long enough, you can usually figure out a way to A way to solve it. A way to solve it. A way to solve it. They're sort of new. A way to I don't wear them all the time. I actually wear them rarely, but I decided to switch things up today. I like it. Thank you. take me a hundred years, but I'll come to the same conclusion as like Elon Musk in, in like years. half a second. But it's, I think there's like, you know, something times time times something else equals intelligence. Yeah, there have been studies about Because I've solved problems by just not giving up. I needed to design a circuit once, and I know nothing about, I have no training in electronics. And I hired a firm to do it, and they always did a great job, but this one time I went in and the guy said, it won't work or, you're, or it's not ready to bring here, you didn't figure this out or something. So uh, so I went back and every, for like, I don't know, for months and months and months, every day my job was, I went to work and these parts were on my desk and I just sat there and just studied it and stared at it like, Every, every day, like for months, many months. And eventually I came up with this killer design using all off the shelf stuff. I was able to, you know, then do things that I won't get in my wheelhouse to be able to do to complete it. And it was very successful. You know, and, and yet it was not apparent. I'd still know, be sitting there. I still know, it took a long time. You know, so it really taught me something. Just take your time and well you can you can multiply your your intelligence just by staying focused on something adding the, the time variable the teeth to it you know you could have like x is you know your professional background and training in a subject or something and something else is experience you know but then there's the t you got to put in there and you, you'll figure it out if you've got that much time. I sat there, I knew it would be worth it. And I knew it was something like eight months or something. It was a long time. Wow. And I was just like, figured, okay, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna, and then I, I didn't even need to, to go like back to the, so like I was able to keep it all in house. What kind of work are you? It was something, it was a device for law enforcement. It was a GPS tracking device. And it had some unique properties. Okay. Um, it was also before GPS was a big, yeah. It was yeah. Now, place. now it's totally obsolete. But yeah, I, it was kind of this freak discovery that you did. It was, but it was an intentional freak yeah, discovery. Yeah, you were working on it, but you, it, it was before oh, yeah, anyone knew it could be done. I, uh, the original design, I ran out of, I ran out of things that seemed like they'd work. And then, um, but I was, 
so long. Really intent on making it work, even though like I ran out of ideas. So I started trying to do things I thought wouldn't work. I'm going to try things that wouldn't work until it worked. I was the tester, Paul. He would put one under my car, and I was the tester. Law enforcement all over the world would follow me to the Broadway market and back. Oh, so, and so people and knew back. where you were going. Yes, I was always being tracked. Well, she was the demo. I was the demo. She was the most tracked person in law enforcement. And then when my car got stolen out of the okay. Buffalo News parking lot, they found it because... And then, the yeah, they, somebody stole oh, the car. Oh, my car got stolen. And they, we had, like... The, the, Wait a minute. The chief of detectives... The car got stolen, but out you had Buffalo one of these parking We had two of them. You had it. one of these yes. under the car? And not only that, I had something in the trunk related to it Yeah, they well. popped the trunk, too. Now, yes. now we're getting somewhere. And Wait, now, there was one... <laughs> and, and were they able to find... Were they able to find the car? Yes, it was on Lemon Street. Because of that? Yes. Lemon Street. All right, so you the, got some. The, the chief, of the, instead of calling 911, I called the chief of detectives because I'd been working with them, training them. I didn't want them to find it. I was sick of it. And I was, I, I, got got real nice I, I got a real nice I was worried about her was because she wasn't answering the phone. She was in a meeting. Which oh, never no. happened. Like so I, car, I thought they, the somebody had the her and the car because I was dragging the car on the east side, which wouldn't have been a big deal, <laughs> except it was there like for hours. How about the insurance company? Exactly. Exactly. And, and we were supposed to go someplace. Oh no! They found so I called uh, the found chief of detectives, uh, Dennis Richards, and he grabbed the guy. They jumped right in his car and went out. They, they and rattled I some pages. Over with the other reporters who are going, my car's no. stolen. Somebody left the car abandoned. I thought it was a car. submarine sand was driving full tank of gas. Was, no. was, was that the rare yeah. two-door Buick yeah. Century, or was I've that the other Buick The four-door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had my hair for a while. And I've had cars like that, that, that you wouldn't mind if they're, you know, if they were stolen. Like your last car. You know, I've had something like that. Like the last car and the car before. Howard, you got to do that song over the... Over the rainbow? No, he does the song from Cabaret. Well, we'll see. Yeah, well, Maybe this yeah. time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should My do voice has to be really warmed up. That's, 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 that's just to do it in the EF. You see those cameras up there? This is all his. This is like sophisticated stuff. <laughs> I'm used to this. This is something. Get used to it, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I am here, ladies and gentlemen. Is there a blog post about your car being stolen? It's Diane. Now we can start the party. I'm sitting here anyway because you can't knock and throw them. sucking up to him because we know he's going to be really, really important. He already is in Amherst. I'm not sure what he does in Amherst. He runs it or something. What do you do in Amherst, Jay Anderson? He's, he, he holds a big office there. It's my first time driving tonight. He's in charge of the inspecting tire tracks that come in to see if there's any dust before they come into Amherst. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it, Jay? <laughs> I think you had to win an election. Did you, were you elected to your job, Jay? I keep thinking he's talking you, to you one of us. It. I'm going, who's elected? He's got people that are sending them. Oh, he's got people that he can see. He can see, but he only he can see them. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So but only I know if I'm making them up or not. But they can see us. He's got a private conversation going on. Yeah. I'm going to the greatness of your shirt. It's so nice. Most people are going to be up My sister in law had just bought a house in Palm Springs. And I, you could be worse. We were going to go visit, so I bought this shirt. Oh, nice. Thank you for that. It was a big uh, basketball start here before we started. 
Or something nobody knows. Yeah, who he is up here. Oh, who is it? Was he? Yeah, I'm looking up. I got. Uh, uh, I'll get his name. He told me uh, Orlando Magic. Nothing uh, exciting. Magic. 2016. I've got to look up it's the Magic roster. Johnson. Uh, uh, if I see the name, I'll, it's not Victor Oladipo. It was somebody else. Oh, if he's still in the name, that would be great. So we could pray. Yes. He was allowed to get the early one. Right. He was waiting, but... Yeah, it was 60, so that was six years. Yeah. 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 You're watching Lounge Academy. Oh, we're, we're getting settled in. It's here. Always, it's like on a fiddler on the roof or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be better. But it could be worse. It is uh, What happens to the bed? I mean, besides Buffalo Woods. What else? We got to bake that into the cake this week. That was bothering yeah. um, everybody. Oh, that is bad. Yeah. So it was hot. I always remember Diane and air conditioning. Whenever we went out, it would always be, is there air? And this is like 100 years ago. Yeah. Is there air? And if there wasn't, Diane wouldn't go. And sometimes that was not I'm getting, I'm getting air conditioning uh, first of June. Well, that'll mean Diane can come to your house. Yeah, you can come yeah. to my house. Oh, you, you have it. Okay, good. No, but she would not come to one of those houses without air conditioning. <laughs> Hey, do you mind if I play this no, song again? Cool, naturally. I wish you would. Again. Today, it was freezing in my house. It's always cooler than it is outside. But then comes this a camp when it gets real hot. Again. I do it just so I can do that show. I feel like those houses in New Orleans where the air must go through it in a certain way or this something. This is that one very rarely gets very hot. Like we didn't even know we're going this with a fan instead that just kind of fans from the window. I'm 
funny just by itself during yeah. the day. Yeah. You feel like you're having something that's just really good. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a background with the newspaper? Yeah, I worked at the Buffalo News. Oh, no, just down that way. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, they had me for yeah, a very long time. Yeah. yeah, at the foot of me. My father there. was with the Times Union for like... Oh, really? Correct. The Albany? Yeah. Yeah. For like what did he do? All of his life. He was advertising. Oh, okay. He did that all his life. That's great. Wow, that's great. He was good at that. The what? advertising people own the paper. See the that? Buffalo that, News. That, we, we looked up to them. That was back when him. you went into a bar and you had a pen... You had a pen and paper, with, and you drew up the ad yourself. Yeah, oh, you drew it up. Yeah. You drew it up. There was there was no graphics or anything. You and you went in up. and you sat down with the owner. He said, tell me a little about And he wrote up Oh, the ad. how sweet. Yeah. yeah. And he might have a guy in the corner smoking a cigarette. <laughs> really, really smoking a cigarette. You know, and he had and he, old time. He, and he'd do the ad, oh. and then it's in the That's newspaper. Sweet. Yeah. How interesting. That's how it would work. Yeah. yeah. He lives in Saratoga. Yeah. The Times Union. Yeah. I love all these old papers and their names. I grew up, though, outside of all of them.
and a fella put it on and I wish that I was Santa Claus <laughs> I don't have a copy but all year long oh I wish that I was Santa Claus he'd be happy no I'd bring you right along <laughs> but, but it was a guy, this guy named uh, Larry Cape. He was, a, he was an organist up in the, uh, up in the area. And he was a musician. And he put that song on his album. Oh, what a great break. He had a Christmas album. And uh, it's so, you know, he had a little fame. And uh, he wrote one song. That's amazing. That is really. amazing fame for one song. Yeah, well, that's quite any, a little. No one had training or anything. That's like yeah. Herman Hupfeld. He, he had no training. He, he used yes, to do this is. on the one, piano. The, the, one, the magic the one finger. Finger. Yeah, he the used to do this finger. on the piano. I didn't make that up. My father and, used to say that. And, and, and he, <laughs> so, he was so tall. You should yeah. always take with, credit. With, with <laughs> so right. so that I'm nice going to get to write that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> So if you're playing here at Christmas Eve or whatever, say I'm I'm, I'm playing this for Paul. This is it was I his wish that I was Santa. Yes, this was his father's big hit. <laughs> so play that next Christmas. So I can give you the world. That's it. Yeah. I told the girls there are only three of us right now in the choir. If we went and rehearsed last night at one of their in the house, I could have house my sister. Christmas all year old. I thought we should have Santa Claus. I found myself some new keyboards. Then his father wrote, When somebody loves you, it's no good unless she loves you. Frank Sinatra sang it. 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 Frank
depression year. Not to bring up today's stock market. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. It's the last, <laughs> yeah, the last yeah. Everyone's tuned in. Oh yeah. Days have been, the last days have been bad. Yeah. 57? Yeah, sorry, I made a mistake. You were right on. You said no, 58, for God's sake. I know. You were right on. I did not question yeah, him. Yes. Oh, she, she, she wasn't there originally. Oh, good. She's glad she was there. We should have sold our shorts today. I sold my shorts. Nineteen twenty-nine. I sold my shorts. Da 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 da. Do that song. That's a good song. Yeah, which one is it again? Da 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 da. Ocean in space. But I can't get started. I can't get started. I'm a classical player, though. I don't know. That's okay. She can do it all. I'm not so much. That's okay. But I did play in an old girl jazz band once when we so played on holiday. So you all, so you all have oh, some kind of business. musical connection. Yeah, I'm not Howard because I'm piano. You all have kind of a musical connection. Yeah. I thought you met at Daffodils. What? I thought you met at Daffodils. Fanny's. 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 But I wasn't playing or anything, and he wasn't playing. We were at the bar. <laughs> yeah. But it was because of piano. I went there to hear El Tinny. That's oh. what. Yes, yeah, so Diane was with me on that was night. Yeah. And Diane what? even told me because Howard was at the bar and Diane and we sat down there and, and Diane made me sit next to me. He goes, You sit next to the guy. Because <laughs> Diane was married and stuff and she goes, You sit next to the guy. And I sat next to the guy in the area. There's a song, I sat next to the guy. That's a song. You sit next to the guy who's eating. Yeah, he was eating. I thought he was a cook or something at Fanny's, which was fine by me. I, I like cooked. You know, I was thinking that because he seemed to know everyone and he was eating, what were you eating? Some elaborate dinner. You were eating the escargot or something. It was really I funny. Usually got the, the lobster. Oh, you had something that was funny and we were laughing. I don't even really remember. I didn't notice it too much, but I was assuming, and we were talking about, we thought he was maybe was a cook there or something. No. I thought I, for whatever reason, maybe Maria and I were talking because our other friend was there as well. Because we, I don't know, I thought maybe you, because you seem to know everyone there, like I thought maybe you were working there. No, it doesn't look like You know what I mean? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, it didn't bother me that he was, that he was. I, I thought it was cool. <laughs> what was that dish called? Although he could have been. I don't remember what you ate. Someone, the bouillabaisse. base. Oh, the bouillabaisse. base. It, it had topped to, with the lobster. That was really good. That was a nice restaurant we used to eat there. Where was, was it? Fun. Was it in town? Yeah. yeah, it was out in Williamsville. On Sheridan and Williamsville, it was yeah suburban. So I used to do. I told you I used to do a lot of work in town here. Yeah, I've been to all the places. Fanny's, I've been to all the not Fanny's you know, supper the club. Supper club. Thank you, Joe yeah, it was like a place where old people went. Oh, great to oh, have you with us, Joe. Well, we went too. Yeah, you went you there. Like but no, other people went there too, but they were older than we were. No, I was young man. I wasn't old. Yeah. I worked for the state of New York. I, I did a lot of financial. Accounting type stuff. A lot of money stuff. It's still my accountant. No, I get to do a lot of money stuff. It's cutting back. The state of New York. Uh, yeah. Part of the state. Just like, uh, are you at liberty to say what agency? Yeah, it's like, you know, social services. Okay. That, that sort of thing. I, I was telling her I, I was working in town when they filmed The Natural. And we were working in the building right next door. I was working at Ellicott. And one day we saw all, everybody and it was great. It's going around the world. One of your favorite movies. Yes, it is. I love that movie too. Yeah. And I told you. In a play. In Spain, the North Pole I had charted, but I can't get started. Around the Gulf Course, I'm under par. All the movies, they want me to star. 
I've got a house, a show place, but I can't get no place with you. You're so supreme. Lyrics I write of you, you see. Just for the sight of you, dream. Both day and night of you. And what good words did it do? In 29, I sold my shorts. And in England, I'm presented in court. But you got me downhearted. Cause I can't get started with you. Vernon Duke and Ira Gershwin. I've heard things of Linus. It's certainly right. Oh, all that stuff. That's a big ass a And just plus, it was a nice, um, I think they used the word classy. It's a nice classy movie to have in bubble. Yeah. I just can't yeah. think of a nice, nice stars. And you still didn't get fed of the Redford in that era. And not these schlocky movies that we've had made for yeah. some time. Yeah. And did you like Kim Basinger? And and I love Robert Duvall. Yes, I yeah. like all of them. I like the best. That's the only movie he made. I love the two best ones. I love the two. Oh, the oh you mean the bad boy? Oh, he's looking up the bad boy. I bet you his name was Bob. I want you to share with them. Oh, you like story. celebrity stories? Huh? I he, love them. he was an officer. I want to know if they're nice people or not. He was an officer in the army, and he was uh, in his uniform on his way home at the airport. And tell him, tell him what happened. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, I was in Texas, and uh, my mind is going. Uh, Jimmy Page. Uh, oh, from one of the rockers. Yeah, yeah. Led Zeppelin. Oh yes, yeah. You know, <laughs> sure. I'm standing there with, in my, with you know, in my uniform, and he walks over to me, and he said, "Where are you going?" I said, "Well, I don't think I'm going to get on this plane." You know, how you doing? He, said, he said, "He points to the stewardess and said he's on this plane." Led Zeppelin. Oh wow, Jimmy so, Page. <laughs> and, and Robert. 
John Paul Jones and Jimmy Page and um, anyway, me and Led Zeppelin <laughs> and, two or three, and, and two or three stewardesses <laughs> back when anything goes. And when I say anything goes on a plane, I mean you could do you could do anything. You could bag almonds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing. Peanuts, they peanuts. No, I don't want. To, I don't want to know what they were doing. Oh man! I don't want to know what they were doing. But but it was me and, and Led, Led Zeppelin, Zeppelin and two or three stewardesses. were on this plane, and we flew from Texas uh, into Albany. He had he was going somewhere. But they let you drop you off at Albany. Concert. Oh yeah, he's. I was yeah. a star. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, that I was, was a star. Yeah, Isn't that yeah. wonderful? Led Zeppelin. Now, most people say they were the greatest. He's getting on this plane. The next, uh, my next door neighbor likes them a lot. They were the greatest heavy metal band of all time. Yeah. And in the rank of... They've certainly withstood the test of time. The rank of bands, I mean, people say the Beatles, <laughs> the Stones, and Led Zeppelin. I mean, that, I mean, yeah. there, there, there they are very, very there big. There wasn't too many yeah. bigger than Led Zeppelin. Definitely an A-list rock band. You know, and, and then you got The Doors, you know, yeah. and those kind of, you know, but yeah, that was How fun. That says something very nice about him. I love that he did that. Yeah. And, yeah. and one day at Saratoga, I was, you know, I was working at Saratoga, and one of the big shots said, come on, he takes me by the head and says, I want you to meet somebody. So, <laughs> where you take it? So, he takes me up to one of the boxes, you know. Upstairs, and there's, there's Paul McCartney. Oh, wow. So, I, I, didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. One says hello. They, he was asked once, what does one say when one meets no, a people? He met yeah. Paul Wait McCartney. to hear what he said to him. So, I said, my name is Paul, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great thing to say. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say. So, my name brother. is Paul, too. And he could, he like doubled over. He was. Oh. He, he thought it was so funny. He seems like a nice man. Yeah. He like doubled over. And he shook my hand. I said, "Jesus." <laughs> my name is Paul. Yeah. And he starts laughing. <laughs> you know, I mean, this they is. They only want to be treated like normal people. Yeah. I mean, this is back before. I said, "No, I want to get a picture of, uh, with my cell phone." It's back before they had any cell phones or yeah. pictures, and I, I didn't ask them for it. But anyway. That was so. That's a famous person. That's great. That uh, is a well. That's an A-list famous person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's sure. a famous person that I met. Paul McCartney. Now, there's another story we have to tell. His mother owned. His mother owned a restaurant, oh, and Paul worked in the restaurant. Oh, Had one. A, a pink Cadillac pulls up. I want a pink Cadillac. And, you know, these I want, I want. five or six, you know, you know black, you know, black you know, get out of the car. Get out of the No, five or six. <laughs> <laughs> no, and they great. They come in, you know, and the one guy knocks on the door, he said, look, um, <laughs> he, he said, look, my boss is here and he's very hungry and he he's heard that hungry. this is a great restaurant. We want, can we we get some food, right? So he, he goes over, he opens the back door, right? And Fats Domino, right? Oh, oh Domino. my goodness. He was, I mean, he Fats Domino get, and he's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> and he's hungry. <laughs> and he says, he says, look, he's, he's hungry. So he comes to the door. Now back then, back then, 10, 
$1,200 bills was something. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, back then. I yeah, just did this map the other day. I had to go. That's a lot. Yeah, in like yeah. 50. So he goes, so he, he says to my mother, it's, it's like 10 times what it is now. Yeah, he says to my mother, look, he says, we heard you're a hell of a cook. Would you take care of all my people? Yeah, he gives her a thousand. He, he, he gives her a thousand dollars. So he comes in, and which I, is ten thousand dollars. Yeah, well, yeah. I give her a thousand dollars, and she said, "Oh my God, this is unbelievable." She said, "What do you want to eat?" She said, well, well, you know, we hear the lasagna is good. We hear the. I would have told. She says, "Oh well, my God, I can't said, put whatever you want. You tell me what you yeah, want." Yeah. So they all come in. There were ten or twelve. A couple of more Cadillacs pull up. They had, like, they, had like, they had like 10 or 12. So silly me, after, after they're eaten for a little while, I go play Blueberry Hill oh, no. on, the jukebox. on the jukebox. Okay? So he stops eating. He gets up on a table and doesn't he sing the thing. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh what a story! Wow. He's, 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 he's got so many stories. Oh, Blueberry Hill. <laughs> oh, how sweet! That is the greatest story. Isn't that great? Now, back then, besides is, besides Elvis, that's Americana. Yeah, I mean, besides Elvis, and I don't know who, who else, but there, there weren't too many musicians bigger than him. No. Yeah. So I became a union best domino. Paul could write a book about all these celebrities. He'll sing. 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 he On how we met, that the world could never forget. Then the simple secret of the plot is just to tell them that I love you. Then the world discovers when my book ends how to make two lovers a friend. Dave Wendy's off to another show business destination. He's off to a, re a rehearsal. He's rehearsing his next big show. There he goes, gliding down the stairs. Maybe he's the celebrity. He's on the escalator. No wonder he's gliding.
says, look, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything black. <laughs> Everybody is great, you know, looks like a nice crowd. And how he comes down to our table. Yeah. He comes down to our table. He says, what do we have here? <laughs> I said, she was his Hi, Wayne. And this is a ball, you know, from Albany. It's my wife, you know. You're the American room. <laughs> 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 this is my son, you know. You know, you know, and, you know, and, you know, and my daughter, and his, you know, and his girlfriend, you know. <laughs> he sing, you know, he starts to sing, and then he comes down, you know, he's, he, he's acting kind, you know, kind of wacky, right? He says to my, so he says to me, who's this beautiful girl that, you know, here, and that was my daughter. <gasps> and I said, Wayne, I says, this is my daughter. And he says, sure, half the guys here are with their daughter. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, the room went nuts. <laughs> the room went nuts. <laughs> he says, half the guys here are with their daughter. What are you, crazy? You could never say that now. Yeah. Yeah, so funny. Yeah, so, but anyway, so he says to the waitress, send a bottle, uh, bring a bottle of champagne over to Paul's table, and everything is on, everything's on the house for the rest of the day. He says to me, and so anyway, it How fun. funny. <laughs> That's an amazing story. Yeah, yeah you were the first half and guys here with, with their daughter. And we were right there. Yeah, we were right there. This we're is right. Right. Yeah, and, 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 All of that is funny. You know what's funny is these, these stories aren't really related. There's nothing that you're doing to make them happen. You just happen to be in these places. Yeah. I mean, with your mother having the restaurant. You were the right just right place at the right place. Right. Yeah, it's...
Wayne Newton. Oh, I forgot that he was in Vegas. He was a big star. Almost forgot that. He hit on the He was the biggest star in Vegas for years. Oh, None of them look like Wayne Newton. There's a shout out to Bill Zimmerman, Mr. Show Business. Nice to see you, Bill. Come on down. We miss you. We miss you, Bill Zimmerman. We're at the Hyatt now. Just give your keys to Charles, the parking valet, and he'll he'll take care of the car for you. Come right up the brass escalator. You can stop and grab a drink on the way. for Bill Zimmerman. I guess I'll have to change my plans. I should have realized there'd be another man. I overlooked that point completely until the big affair began. Before I knew where I was at. Thank you, Paul. And that was that. I tried to reach the moon, but when I got there, all that I could get was the air. My feet were back upon the ground. And I've lost the one girl One girl I found special announcement, Bill Zimmerman is going to be making an appearance right here at the Hyatt Regency Buffalo in one week's time from right now. Bill Zimmerman. He's, he does it all. What a voice he has. What a voiceover voice. He's just one of the big creative minds. He's behind most of the things show business that that surface and 
Buffalo and surrounding regions. Marino can tell you. This is his song. Stormy weather. They're telling the dance parents, you're lucky your kids aren't up against Mike. <laughs> I'd like to see that. The great Gary Marino. Watching Lounge Academy. Live from the Hyatt Regency. The reason you're watching it is because it's Friday. sleep. Of course, some of those dreams could wear you out. I had the craziest dream. I never dreamt it could be, but there you were, in love with me, I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them, Kathy Moses, how are you? You didn't mind it at all. When I'm away, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care. Say you do. Say it and make my make my crazy dreams come true. Oh yeah. Say it and make my crazy dreams all true. Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV. There he goes. 
Bush. Now that he knows the show's going swimmingly, of course, he's going to be tuning in to keep an eye on us. So it doesn't mean when the mouse is away, the cat can play. Or something like that. Those cats are, are great, aren't they? Oh, so. They're more fun all the time. The frisky fritter, I'm telling you. Well, she's at that age. Yeah. Very playful. Our, our cat's been really it's playful lately, too. Every turn. Every turn. He was, he, 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 he was never, well, for a while he was a little bit large, but, but he was never, you know, usually he wasn't too big, but we got him really slimmed down now where he looks like, like a pinup, you know, like he's chiseled. Yeah. Like if he gets thinner, I start feeding him, you know, because it scares me, but he's like, he's like a little hunk, you know, and he's, he loves, he loves being like that. Yeah. He's flying all over the place. Yeah. So, so more than when he, more than when we got him and he was, you know. Right. Well, almost. Yeah. More than when he was like two, right. you know, it's yeah. the most energy he's had. Yeah. Well, Maddie's been a little bit quiet this week because I have so much, so much company this week. I love that area. There's a lot of people in the house, so he's kind of like a little quiet, kind of sitting off to the side, just know what, what to do, what's, what's going on. Nice, nice. Rich Sellers, Rich is watching. Richard Sellers watching Lounge Academy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Richie. Richie's watching you and me. Richie can play the blues. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice to see you, Richie. stock market today, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Richie? Once I lived the life of a millionaire. Spent all my money, didn't have any cares. Took all my friends out, like Crystal Everdyke. We drank champagne whiskey. all my good friends nowhere to go if I could get my hands on that dollar again I'd hang on to it till that old eagle grins crystal cause nobody knows you 
you're down and out In your pocket Not one penny And as for friends Other than me and Ken, you haven't any When you get back on your feet again Everybody wants to be your long lost friend. I said it straight without any doubt. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. When you're down and down. Yeah, a lot of people singing that song today who are in the stock market. Richie's, Richie's at home watching. We're ta they're talking about you, Richie. Gary's telling a Richie Sellers story, Richie Sellers. See what happened when we gossip if you're not here. I may be wrong, but I'll give you a little bit of the crowd there. I may be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. I may be wrong, but I think you're swell. I like your style, Sid. I think you're marvelous. I'm always wrong, so how can I tell? All of my shirts are unsightly. All of my times are a crime. If dear knew I picked rightly, it's the very first time. He came along, say. I think you're wonderful. I think you're grand. But I may be wrong. Welcome to the Hyatt Piano Bar. A place to relax. And forget all that other nonsense for a while. yourselves comfortable anywhere you like. You know where everything is. Help yourself. Oh, Michelle. Nice. drinks into the piano. Because she left a bond. 
strength limit to one. No, oh, thank you. the stars out tonight you ever do this one Diane I don't know if it's cloudy or bright cause I only have eyes for you oh the moon like yesterday. Nice song. It's a nice song. We'll keep that one. <laughs> Michelle Stevens. Well, remember to. This is like downline marketing. We'll make sure we send her the everything you guys earn. Well, she'll get a part portion of that.
Here's a lyric by Irving Caesar. It's for Kathy Moses. She's a big Irving Caesar fan. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy. I make you happy too. Life's really worth living when we are mirth given. Why can't I give some to you? When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I'll send the sun smiling through. to be happy but I won't be happy till I make you happy too sounds like a, I bet Al Jolson sang that one sounds like something he'd sing right it's from no no Nanette for two me for you and you for me or the other way around Alone. nobody near us to see us or hear us no friends or relations on weekend vacations we won't ever know dear that we own a telephone They will break and will awake and start to bake a sugar cake for me to take for all the boys to see. We will raise a family, a boy for you and a girl for me. Can't you see how happy we will be? A lot of there's, a lot, there's, there's, there's people like that have never heard that song. Really? Yeah, I thought people like of every age, like from a cartoon or something, yeah. you know. But um, yeah, yeah, the kid. I don't know what the, the younger kids, proms or something we were playing. They didn't know T for two. That's when I knew with. Yeah, I always thought that was. Everything was done. Good point. That's a, yeah, right. Hey, Charles, how are you? Your car is in good shape with Charles. He's taking it down to Lancaster Speedway right now. <laughs> Until it's out of gas. Did you use Charles? Did Charles take your car when you got here? You parked it up in the lot. Well, they got some great, you know, Great parking around here. Yeah. I used the ballet tonight. Oh, yeah. oh nice, Brenda. Did you get, uh, was Charles your ballet? Have a nice evening, sir. Thank you, Kathy Moses.
something from the, how about the Gold, Goldwyn Follies? Typical. Gotta keep them alive. By the Gershwins. I wouldn't expect anybody to know this, but like the real hardcore song, people like, like Diane probably knows it. I was doing all right. Nothing but rainbows in my sky. I was doing all right till you came by. Had no cause to complain. Life was as sweet as apple pie never noticed the rain till you came by now whenever you're away can't sleep nights and suffer all the day I just keep on wondering if life is one big but when you hold me tight, tingling all through, I feel somehow I was doing all right, but I'm doing better. Was doing all right. He's like Diane, he knows all the songs. You don't know this one? Oh, good. Well, it's a nice song. Isn't that a great Gershwin song? You didn't know I didn't know that? because I was never doing all right. Uh, uh, that's sad. I like the shirt. More like I was doing fantastic, not just all right. You are doing dynamite. That means when you're dynamite, you don't know what all right is. He'd eat his arm. Was he the one? That said he'd eat his arm. Now he's doing Medicare with commercials. Not reverse mortgages. Remember when every, everybody, every has-been was doing reverse mortgages? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hate it when I'm watching My Favorite Martian and I got a sip of All right, we're dating ourselves. It was a great show. Back on. Is it? A... <laughs> wow, I haven't seen that one in, since it was on. I don't think I've seen it since it was on. Hey, Walt, Wow. Him and damn Yankees. Yeah, I'm trying to remember that sh that show because it was well, pulling me back like 60 years. My favorite Martian. They really never. It's like songs, you know. They really never have to write another one because there's such a a library of literature that you could never get through it all in a lifetime. So. Yeah, keep doing them. The Even if it takes forever. If it takes forever, I will wait for you through a thousand summers. I will wait for you back beside me till I'm holding you. Till I hear you sigh here in my arms. Anywhere you wander, anywhere you go. Ooh. Evermore. 
song when I'm waiting for Mary. Mary's married guys can relate to the song. You know, they got to change their outfit a few times before you get before you can get out of the driveway, right? Maybe. He's a diplomat. He's not showing. He's not showing. takes forever I will wait for you the anniversary waltz. <laughs> it was in three-quarter time. Yeah. Michelle sends everybody down on their anniversary. Forward to you're, uh, you, you're a talented uh, individual. Oh, well, thank you, you know, Paul. I, I thought that was really it's good oh, stuff. Well, it's thank you so piano. much. I was telling them about Jackie Jacko. It's a magic yeah, piano. This is a magic piano. Yeah, this, all these this, what, what, this is all this is all this is, a, this is a history of your life. This is Jackie Jacko's history. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah and it's and history. And Harry played down at his He was his mentor. So yeah. Yeah, and it all just happened to work out to be where I'm here yeah. in yeah. this place at this piano, which is a best case scenario. Well, not like those other guys. Not like the guys on the news. You know. There they go. Brendan and Paul. Paul did a great job on his first night here, I think. I did a little stand up. He's doing great. But next time I'll have more. Paul, come back. He knows. Leave, leave him screaming for more. Are you guys going to be tuning in when you leave? Because we're going to be gossiping about you. Especially Diane. If I had a garage sale, somebody would get hers. Probably me trying to clean it. There they go. Look how she glides down those stairs. Like she's on wings. some Sinatra tunes for you. Was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as Marino could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. At dawn I woke up singing Sentimental overtures 
this heart of mine is dancing gaily now I taste the wine of real romancing now this crazy world is taking on a wonderful design as long as life in noise it's yours this heart of mine That song. for today's stock market report. <laughs> That's the only thing I have plenty of. My baby, dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness and I guess all those things you always find for cheap. To see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell, my baby. Till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, baby, I can't give you anything but love. baby till that lucky day you know darn well well baby
Thank you. That's a song that holds up. Someone said as we shook hands, she was just Miss Jones to me. Then I said, Miss Jones, you're a girl who understands. I'm a man who must be free. I lost my breath All at once was scared to death All at once I own The earth and I own the sky Now I've met Miss Jones And we'll keep on meeting Till we die Jones and I Thank you. Happy happy anniversary. Come back and see us again. Here's a song from Marino and Ari Silverstein. Cy Coleman. For John to tell as well. Nice to see you out there, John. If you're out there. I gonna laugh you right out of my life. Laugh and forget this affair Guess I was foolish to care So I'm gonna dance you right out of my dreams Try to be carefree and gay Guess that I'll learn to play this rumor I know I'll really need my sense of humor I'm gonna laugh you right out of my life make it a beautiful joke no one will
put a little crying into the end of that song. You like that? Psych, old man. Boy, can he write a song. Here's one Diane knows. She may have even done it in her act. I've got a crush on you. You could could have though. I've got a crush on you. Sweetie pie. Your day. Time. Hear me sigh. I never had the least bit notion that I could fall with so much emotion. Another great Gershwin tune from Strike Up the Band, or is it the band's on strike? Oh, thank you, Janice. Janice Schlaus says hello to the cadets. She's cooking up a storm while she's watching Lounge Academy. Janice Schlau. powder room break. See, this is a little show business, uh, how the sausage is made. You take your breaks when you're in between possibly turning the room over because uh, even though we officially stop and scheduled to stop in about 18 minutes, about 7.30, um, you never know when you're going to turn the room in a whole whole crowd's going to come in and then and then you you know then you it's not a good time to take your break then so we'll take it now I'll be right back i'll let you guys eavesdrop in on the conversation 
Yes, they're very different. She figured it out yeah, on the fly. Yeah, <laughs> They are different. Yeah, they have something in common, but they're different. Yeah. I love the upright face. It reminds me of just the 18 inches. I took a video of her doing it. I go, yeah. I took that. Yeah. She's like five foot nothing. She's like this little girl. You ever see Grace? She sings too. She sings. She plays with the, you know, she's with the Grush. Grush, Grush, Grush. Oh, the Girls of Grush. Girls of Grush, yeah. I saw their name her on there. Megan I, I Brown. wanted to hear whoever it was who was the Girls of Grush. Oh, I just Megan, love that name. Yeah. Megan Brown is a killer. Oh, my God. She's got the greatest. Oh. Is she in she the Girls to, of Grush, You've been to the too? K.O. Bar. It's you, I said you've yeah. been to the K.O. Bar. Yeah, but I only heard the Girls of Grush. Huh? I've only heard so. Oh, yeah, you don't go on Tuesday. No. Tuesday's great. The Girls of Grush. I want to go in here, though. I always get him doing, hey, bartender. Oh, hey, <laughs> bartender. Well, what, what, do you want to eat more pieces of beer? Yeah. Do you know, I still have tapes. I got to find them, but they're around the house, and I know where they are now, of oh, the Darren Guest's old blues yeah. show on BFO, where he would do I those blues. I have them somewhere, too. Oh, isn't that funny? I used to tape them, and I learned about blues, but he used to play the same ones over and over. Yeah. But it was still, I mean, I, I gave I've got it. Oh, my Find daddy, cool kid. tapes. I had the Daddy Cool oh, Station yes, in Toronto. That's right. yes. I had a whole, I mean, I had like maybe 30 of them or 40 of them, yeah. two sides, 90 minute tapes. So yeah. I had maybe like 60 shows. Oh my God. And I'm going, cool. you know, I listened to them so many times and I don't have a cassette yeah. player. I said, what am I going to do with these? I gave them to Ed Croft, who is like, you know, fully into it. Yeah. And he is like going, oh, all that's right. Great. I, because I, I'm so glad you're, you gave me, I'm the keeper of the play. Oh, <laughs> he goes, I am the keeper. He goes, I'm so glad you gave me this. There's interviews with Benny King, interviews with Lloyd Price, interviews with, uh, you know, Daddy Cool. He's doing all these interviews with these guys. You know, Lloyd Price, who did Lottie the Squatty. There's an interview. Oh, yeah. There's an interview where he went and he recorded it, and then he went into the army. It was like World War II or something. He goes into the army. He goes, I'm in, the, he goes, I'm in Germany. He goes and everybody's going, you got a number one hit. He's going, what? He goes, he didn't even know. Oh, man, in Germany. He goes, back in, he goes, back in the state, he goes, they're all playing this song. They're all, he goes, they're all going crazy after this song. He goes, he was like number one on the Don't Know Charts. Oh, my God. He goes, he goes, look, they're number one on the song. He forgot he even did it. Yeah. And he goes, they're number one. He's going, one. He goes, I'll talk about Lottie Miss Claudia. Lottie Miss Claudia. He goes, <laughs> he's in Germany fighting a war. And meanwhile, back in the States, he's got the number one hit in the oh, country. So, isn't that, that's a story. That is so and the Benny King one when, you know, like, Stand By Me. Oh, they, yes. They, they fired him from the Drifters because his uh, manager and him had a falling out. Benny King. And yeah. Benny King comes back when they're doing Up on the Roof. And he wasn't on that record. And he came back to see the guy. And he comes in. And he goes, the manager's giving me the cold shoulder and everything like this. And he goes, he goes, I had the song, Stand By Me. He goes, and I wanted to give it to him. He goes, this would be great for you guys. I got the song. And the manager goes, Benny, we don't need no more songs. So there was 10 minutes left on the recording session when the manager left. And they go, Benny, why don't you record that song? So he recorded it on the guy's dime. Oh, even though the guy had said. And it was number one and up on the roof with number two. I, uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Poetic justice. Yes. Yeah. And the guy paid for it. Ah, the guy paid for it. Well, yeah, he was, yeah. they recorded yeah, it. They said, we still got 10 minutes. Why yeah, don't yeah, you do that song? That he yeah. goes, and he did it in one take. It was with, wow. The drifter sat there and watched yeah. him do it. There's no drifters behind him. And came out. They both came out at the same time. Billboard, number one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. King. Stand by me, number two, up on the roof. <laughs> I love that story. That is great. Benny, Benny we, just did it. We don't, we don't need no we don't more songs. No more songs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, guess what? You got one. <laughs> we don't need no more songs. Yeah, you can come out of the And that's situation. on that tape. That's on the tapes that I gave him. Um, that I gave Ed. I go, wait till you hear the Betty. You know, uh, you know the Betty will feel good. I always want to listen to this stuff in summer when it gets to be nice. You want to listen to that old. Music and stuff. We drove cross country one year with me and my friend Andrew, and that's all we had. We had the suitcase of Daddy Cool. We had a we had a little, you know, yeah, you know, a little carrying case with all these cassettes in it. And we, that's all we listened to the whole way across country. Oh, wow. Popping another Daddy Cool tape. Yeah. 
Because they were like, they were one hour shows. I'm going into the vault. I'm going oh, into the vault. Stacks of wax. Yeah. And then he'd come out with Great some ridiculous, you know, jailbait by Andre Williams. Jailbait. <laughs> 16, 17, not still. Jailbait. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> Mr. Judge. I didn't know she was so interesting. Mr. Judge. I love that song, Jailbait. <laughs> you better check it before it's too late. Jeez, that was Judge. a lot. You better check it before it's too late. She might be in jail. The guys before the judge. You better check it before she's too late. You better check yourself before she's too late. Before it's too late. I wonder how heavy you were. At the end, the guy's playing with the judge. It's a good thing. I got the record at all. I bought the album. Andre. Andre. Discloses just a passing breeze filled with memory of a golden smile that introduced me to the days of wine and roses. Diane. Thanks, everybody. Lounge cadets. That is one of the beautiful songs. 
Henry Mancini and Johnny Mercer, a couple of good craftsmen there. Holy cow. That was for Janice Schlaub. It's the days of mustard potato salad. I'll be tired of you when stars grow tired of gleaming. When I'm tired of dreaming, then I'll be tired of you. This I know is true, when winds grow tired of blowing, grass is tired of growing, then I'll be tired. Till wrong is right, till the birds refuse to sing. Beyond the years, the echo of my only love will still be whispering, whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating, that it is tired of beating, then I'll be tired of you. Beautiful song, beautiful song. Discovered on an old Dudley Moore black and white <laughs> with a guest host he had from. Sure, it was, was it Gary Moore? No, it was Dudley Moore. It was Dudley Moore. I'm positive. Okay. Yeah. Gary Moore was his father. Miriam, Miriam Montgomery was the singer. She was big in, in Britain. The guy does the song, you know, alone from. Alan Jones sings it. You know, we, I, I put it up. Last time he was at my house, I, Alan got it, Jones. I got it up on YouTube. Jack Jones' is father. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, his father, Alan I didn't Jones. know he had a father. Yeah, his father was in the um, Marx Brothers movies. And really? sang all the love songs. He was, um, wow. He so that's where he got it. At the opera and Day at the Race. 
Wow. It's, a, it's really amazing that his son inherited uh, that voice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I have all his records. See, my dad was an accountant. I didn't even inherit his math. An account of what? <laughs> yeah, an account of me. <laughs> Officially, but we we never finish on time. The Dragon Express. The Dragon Express is always on the camera right over my shoulder. Is that what that is? Yeah. Busy place. I wonder what they really do over there. I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna get to the. Maybe it's a bookie. <laughs> Ask for the uh, fortune cookies. They must be. I'm gonna, I'd like to sing this song for you uh, for all the programmers out there. It's by George Bull. This is really a reach, this joke. George Bull invented the if then statement. In, like in algebra, and then they went on to for, for software. Yeah, yeah. You know, Boo Boolean algebra. I took basic computer. Yeah. So, so this joke is a real reach. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, if. Because the song starts with if. If I can remember it. If I love you, time and again, I will try to say all I want you. Song was always in the second act when they fall in love. 
I see. So they wrote the if song. Oh, if so it was if. Yeah, it was brilliant. Brilliant. They said we want to do two love songs, but we can't because they're not in love yet. So they did the one if I loved you, and they also did um, um what was the other one from um, Oklahoma? And it became one of the great so yeah. remembered songs. Yeah. Enduring and songs. Another one that was just as great. Um, oh, I'll think of it in a minute. Oh, uh, people will say we're in love. I know I have it. That's another one. It happens in the first act. I see. They said, you know, don't sing your arms about me. Don't sing your body about me. People will say we're in love. But they're not in love yet. Another loophole. Another, yeah. Rogers and Hammerstein. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. So they got to write two love songs in one show. Imagine you're doing and somebody's like producing, you know, got the bread to do a show, and that's like, okay, how are we going to make a show? Well, you get those guys, all of a sudden you got the music. Oh. <laughs> you can't lose. <laughs> Marino's heading. Where are you going to be, Marino? The Tudor Lounge. Great place, a fine establishment. We've had a great night here at Lounge Academy. Transmitting from the Higher Regency Buffalo tonight, as we do every Friday night. Because that's what we do. Because somebody has to do it. And that's you and me. It all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy days. We wanted it always. for the sky the limit was high never giving in knowing we could win the prize I should have seen it in your eyes look look how Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Break each other's heart. Look how all our dreams came true. See how I've got me. 
see how you've got you. Through it all, just one thing died. A little thing called love. Something deep inside. You and me, we weren't like the rest. We once were the best. What we've become isn't it a crying shame that we almost made it, but we wanted it all. Peter Allen finishing things up for us on a fantastic Friday night at Lounge Academy. And thanks everybody for tuning in, giving us two and a half plus great hours of relaxation and music from the Great American Songbook. And I wonder what kind of a weekend we're in store for. You know, I didn't even look. I hope the weekend is as nice as some of these days we had during the week. I guess we'll find out. You know, you never know until you get there. We look forward to seeing you once more uh, live and also on the Internet in exactly... Seven hours minus uh, two and a half hours. Seven days minus two and a half hours. And we'll do it all again. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it.